I don't play CSGO that much anymore, but I still had a few thousand dollars in skins that I decided to sell. I know most of you like skins and business and money talk, so today I'm going to be talking about why I sold my skins and what I'll be doing with the money. Or maybe I've already done something with the money that I'll show you. Before we get into the story, let's roll the sponsor of today's video. Yo, this video is sponsored by ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a service that lets you sell and buy skins through their extension that you can install on your browser. Obviously, they also have a website, but they have a browser extension that makes it super easy for you to sell and trade your items. The biggest plus about ShadowPay is that their service is instant, so that's super dope. And obviously, they have a big arsenal of a lot of different skins and a lot of different variety. On the website, you're also able to use advanced filters to filter out the exact item you want. When you're selling an item and there's a buyer that's interested in your item, you obviously have to trade it to the buyer, but you'll get a notification when you have to do so. This way, you evade the seven day trade ban and you're able to instantly sell your skins from your inventory to the buyer. And if you use my code, MATCS, you'll get a 2% deposit bonus. So when you sell the item, you get money on your ShadowPay account that you can cash out through various methods. Check out ShadowPay, use my code, and enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So I decided to sell my inventory. Not everything, because I do have a few play skins still. Almost my whole inventory is gone. I just collected these skins from affiliate earnings on gambling websites or sponsors or skins that I traded for because I actually really wanted the skins. If you've seen my videos on where I tried getting the op fade for example, I spent a lot of money on stars and eventually didn't get it so I ended up trading for it on a trading website. I'm not gonna- hey, hey I was gonna say which side I traded it on but hey slide me a bag and I might say it. So anyway, I got rid of most of my skins. I didn't sell this through any website. I sold it through a friend of mine. I know this video is sponsored by ShadowPay and I think it's a good service to sell your skins. However, all my items that I sold were very high tier and I wanted to sell them through a broker. So my friend Drebs does skin broking, brokering. I don't even know how to say that, but he sells skins to people directly for less of a fee. I decided to sell it through him directly because I thought this was the best deal for me. The items have not been sold yet because of the trade hold which is seven days i think i traded the items to him like four days ago so i should receive the money soon the trade offer that i sent him was pretty juicy so it was about seven and a half thousand dollars worth of skins if you want to calculate the rough amount of real money you get for skins money it's about 70 percent so let me open up the calculator and tell you guys what that is so it's roughly five thousand dollars five and a half thousand dollars i'm not exactly sure what it is but that's about the money i'll be getting in either ethereum or or Bitcoin. At the end of the day, skins are skins and they're just pixels in a game that you can play with. But if you think about it, these prices of these items, these skins fluctuate a lot. I got these skins a long time ago and the price actually went up. So you could have said I made a good investment, which I definitely did without knowing really because I didn't buy the skins to make money off them. I ended up selling them at a higher price point than where I got them from. The idea of investing money and making money off long-term interest is actually something that interests me. I decide to take this money from the skins and take it into Ethereum or Bitcoin both cryptocurrencies, which I think are going to be worth a lot more in the future. These are not the only cryptocurrencies that I'm into. I'll, uh, I'll name the list of what cryptocurrencies I'm into. So I got the list over here. I'm in Ethereum, Litecoin, Chainlink, EOS, Bread, Verge, XRP, Tron, Qtum, and Stellar. Actually, I don't know anything about Qtum, Tron, or Bread. I just really bought these coins. I actually bought Bread because it it's name was cool i was like i'm gonna get this bread bruh so now i hold about three thousand dollars in red which is kind of dumb but a fun coin anyway i just wanted to let you guys know i doubt anyone actually cares but fuck it i like talking about it so if you guys are interested in cryptocurrencies or money making money in the long term definitely look into it because i do think that it's not a bad idea to invest some of your money into cryptocurrencies. Look, I'm not your financial advisor. I should probably put this disclaimer in here because I'm literally not a financial advisor. Don't take any of my advice. But, I mean, hey, it's probably not a bad thing to invest in money that doesn't inflate like the euro or the dollar because inflation is a real fucking thing. Once again, I'm not your financial advisor. Don't take my advice.
cryptocurrencies to the moon though so what if i spent this money on in real life that i cashed out for my skins quote unquote because i haven't received the money for the skins yet but i've already bought things of money that i made from skins in the past i guess or just money that i made online so what i bought is a new computer that i'll actually be building on the day of recording this today is the 18th of november what the fuck february holy shit i am in a fucking time chamber I got the uh, 3090 and a AMD Ryzen 5 950X. Oh, hopefully I'm not saying this wrong because you guys will butcher me. But it's like the best PC you probably can get for the money right now. And I will be making VR videos for this Matt CS channel, which is very exciting. I can't wait to do that and not lag in VR. Even though I have a pretty decent PC now, playing VR and pretty heavy games and streaming them and recording them at the same time is quite laggy and it's not very fun to play while you're lagging because you actually get like motion sick if you lag in vr anyway i got a new pc so i can up the quality on this matt cs channel and i'll finally be doing vr content which i am beyond excited for also something that i had bought is a home gym like i literally built a home gym in my apartment in one of my previous videos it might have been the last or the one before that I talked about how I uh, got a power cage, power rack in my uh, kitchen. I'll share a video of it right now. And it's actually pretty dope. So this helps me a lot just improving in my life, my body, health, mental, whatever. So I've also started a new YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are already aware of that, where I'll be documenting my fitness journey and just trying to inspire you guys on it. I'll start with this channel very soon. I have only got one uh, video uploaded on there yet, which is my one year transformation where I basically turned from a fat motherfucker to a Greek god. You guys can check out that video It'll be in the description or in the card on the top of your screen right now. But anyway, I bought a new PC. I bought a power rack so I can work out and a lot of weights. Dude, that shit is actually expensive. Like weights, like iron is expensive, especially during the lockdown. That shit, like those stonks, bro, the iron stonks skyrocketed because everybody's trying to work out at home because they can't go to the gym. It's kind of a fucked up situation, but at the end of the day, it's an investment into myself, both things, and they both improve my quality of life. The point I'm trying to make is that skins, they might be nice in game, right? But they don't improve my quality of life. And this new computer will because it will make my render times faster when I'm making videos. I upload so many videos, of course. <laughs> the uh, gym equipment already makes my life better because I'm able to work out while I don't rely on a gym that I can't go to because of the lockdown. The skins don't actually help me. They, they just look nice in game and you guys like looking at them. And I still have skins if I do make some CSGO videos. I don't know what I'll do with the CSGO related content in the future. Not that interested in playing the actual game. I played a uh, game of Counter-Strike yesterday actually for the first time in about a month or a month and a half. And it wasn't that much fun, but I do still love the market aspect of CSGO. I have always loved the, um, the money aspect like trading and selling uh, items and stuff and skins. So I will be making more skin related content and more virtual reality type content, but more of myself in the videos. And um, I guess that is what I wanted to talk about today's video. If you guys did enjoy though, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I actually enjoy talking just about anything in these videos. If you guys like listening, I'd like to know. And if there's anything you want me to talk about, or if you think there's an interesting topic for me, or anything you heard in this video that you want me to elaborate on, I don't mind doing more of these videos. I actually like them a lot. Maybe next time I'll turn on like a face cam so you can look at me talk or whatever instead of this CSGO surf gameplay. I don't even know what kind of gameplay I'm going to put under this video, but probably some surf gameplay. Anyway, guys, that is why I sold my skins and what I did with the money. Some uh, non-financial advisor investing advice. I'm not your financial advisor, by the way. Just uh, do your own research on cryptocurrency and uh, see what you do with it yourself. It has made me quite a bit of money. Uh, so I'm just passing on the message. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, you already know what to do. See you guys in the next video. Peace.